Hello everyone, um, Matt here from Commence Gaming and in this video, or this series of videos, I'm going to be showing you how to build this building or a version of it. Uh, this is an automatic never warp farm or a semi-automatic never warp farm if you would rather like. Um, the moment it's set up I've got two floors in there, but I am going to show you some other designs in the other videos showing you um, like different ways to put it, where you can not just put it above each other but extend it outwards etc. Like that. Like that, like that, like that, etc. Right, so here we are. I don't know if we've got it planted there. We press the button here, and all the never what would come flowing down here. Here it comes. Yeah, keep coming. No, it's going to be there for a while because of the, uh, of the soil sand. This is just the staircase section I've made to, to transition between the two floors. Here we are, some of these get, do get stuck on here, so you can get rid of them if you like. I'm going to do that now, actually. There we are, right. Where was I? Yes, uh, dispensers using the water to flush out here. That does happen here, but I really don't mind. And we'll go show you the second floor very quickly. It's exactly the same. I'm just going to pop down and turn it off and I will talk to you about the design of each floor or the, the floor we just pop down here and press the button and there's, there's the one there for ward so you can see it gave us a yield of uh, three and a half stacks ish let's just grab this one yep right so here we are we have when this when the button is hit down there the dispenser will pop out, it's got a bag of water in there. Place the water here, the water will flow oh dear. So we'll place the water there and the water will flow down either side onto the never wart and will flow push the never wart over to here and it will fall down. Uh, higher floors than this obviously the never will fall off the edge there and flow into here. Uh, the reason it's not this is like the soil sand isn't extended all the way up here is because the water doesn't reach at this level. The top floor is identical apart from that it doesn't have the ice shelf here, it just has a straight drop down to the, uh, the previous floor so it falls down to the ice shelf itself. Uh, here we are, I've got the lighting behind these iron bars here as you saw just now. Uh, it doesn't, some never what do pop off when you hit them off and they will land up in there there but uh, obviously you can change that by putting glowstone here or pumpkins or torches if you really want to um, but I just like the lava this is kind of the theme I've gone with for this building lava and iron bars and stone bricks so uh, in this in this first part of this series, this small free video series, I'm going to be showing you how to build the basic floor design and how to build this collection area here, or this, this section here, not necessarily the long bit down there. Right, so um, let's get a new spot in the creative world and we'll get started. Right, so um, here we are, found a new space, there's the original building there, and I have materials I'm going to use to build the basic floor here, uh, never what obviously. I'm going to use spruce wood just to show you the types of, um, you know, the materials you can mix up while doing this. I'm going to use the glue redstone lamps as lighting. Instead, obviously, very expensive, but you know, soil sand, ice dispenser, and then some redstone stuff I'm going to need. Right, so I'm going to start by building this. I'm going to build it so, you know, 10 blocks off the ground. I'm just going to get up a reasonable height. I think that'll be enough. And then I'm going to start, start laying out a platform. Obviously I'm building this in creative mode, but um, it's easy to build in survival really. Easier to build in the cave I would say, because you don't have to go upwards, but okay, I'm going to use this as a basic platform. I'm going to start getting my source sand laid down. So we have a source sand here, and then for the centre, obviously you just want to put your bricks there bricks or whatever material you're using there. I've just got to check how far these go in a minute. You want to encase this as well. 
so the water doesn't flow ev ev out everywhere. Sorry if I make any block misplacements, but it's all in the guise of Minecraft. Okay. Oops. Oops again. Sorry if you're noticing any lag on this video. It's just how my computer's running at the moment. I'm just going to put some upside down stairs here. I did this for the other one with the stone brick stairs. I just think, I don't know, I don't think items can get caught in these, so it, it's a good design, I feel at least. Also, you can just use normal blocks if you really want to. Now I'm going to place our dispenser here. that I need to extend my platform here a bit longer. Send the soul sand out a bit more. It seems to have reached the peak of its extension now. Which is a bit strange. There we are, that's what I was looking for. in on the same level, got the one level below the soul sand, on here, and start putting a wall around this as well. I'm going to worry about touching it up with, with um, the logs in a minute want to get the basic design out for you. And now if we get a bucket of water, which I failed to get again, you'll see the water will run to the centre here. See this is a lot we don't want this though. So we want to just put we want to get a sign and place it here. You can use anything else that will stop or so yeah, stop water in its tracks. I'm just going to place two more blocks, ice blocks there. And that will give you a diagonal effect here instead of just a straight one against that. So when items plop, uh, drop into it, they will get pushed into the here. And eventually down, and then you can make your collection area down there. Uh, now we're just going to focus on this. Just going to put our lights in now. Um, but that's all part of the. I'm going to make exactly the same, so I'm just going to extend this out. Apologise for this. Did not get the exact measurements before I started. But uh, it's all part and parcel of, you know, you can change the shape you want, if you know what I mean. You can have a thin one, or you can have a fat one. Obviously, the further you go out, the less. Um, you know, the less what you're going to get per row, so is it really worth it, is the question. So we do that, and now we have to get our water again and 
sort this out once more. Let me do this. I'm just going to extend this wall out just so it looks a bit nicer. And once again, it will end up here. I'm going to put this wall in here though. And put that back on. get another is that falling down the hole there? Yes that's a hole. <laughs> Sorry. Uh God I'm I fail at making tutorials. Let me just put the sign back on here. And you see it we've got diagonal current again. Now we just have to extend this one out more. Depending on how wide out you make your floors you might want to have a different what's that? there's a hole over there failure um, yeah, depending how wide your floors are at you might want to employ a different lighting pattern for example just then I would have had them there but since we now got an odd even number on the wall it will look a bit strange so I'm just gonna change that around in a second so I can these walls up and put this down here. And now we'll get a bucket of water. And once again we have diagonal stream in here. Okay, I'm just gonna raise this wall up once more. And now we're gonna get rid of these lights here, as I said. place them here. I'm going to be very, it's very, very cost effective design, which you might not want to use in the survival world for example, but for creative world it's fine because it looks nice. Oops. Uh, I'm, yeah. Just have a different around the yes I'm just messing with the water currents here excuse me for a second that was a terrible mistake there right we'll just have it like this shall we there we are and I made a counting error here See how that's possible. But I did it, so. Terribly sorry, I'm just very particular with the lights. There we are. That shall be sufficient to fill my needs. I'm sorry if the video's a bit dark. Um, I haven't used the lights yet, have I? Uh, and now we're going to need a lever. One second. Obviously, if you're using glowstone or lava then watch out that yeah I did that didn't it so I hope they, that would affect this though since a dispenser only releases its payload when it gets a pulse and not when it's powered on so I'm just going to take these away anyway and I can use two slide at the back ones instead of one each and that's got a pulse there stop now, just because uh, redstone lamps carry through the current. Okay, and just gonna add some lights in here. Obviously the benefit of not using using these or glowstone instead of the lava is that there's no risk of you or the never water getting stuck. So I'm just going to build the pathway out here just in case we, well, how we access the floor to replant the never water obviously. And I'm going to add a roof to this. I'm going to build out one more so it's like two high rooms. A bit claustrophobic. Not in real life, just in Minecraft. That's how much I play this game. I have developed my own phobias. I 
don't know if that was a right saying or not. Right, and now I'm going to put some ceiling in. And it's raining. I'm just going to use cheats here to toggle down for. Since it will be a lot worse. The lag will be a lot worse if it's raining. There we are, that's better. And you probably couldn't hear me there, then, because of the rain. Rain is one of the worst things about Minecraft. Monsters don't die if it's raining. Monsters don't burn in sunlight if it's raining. It lags your game out. It's noisy. Just adding this roof in. The next part of this series will show you how to do stack the floors or how to um just like mess around with different patterns and orientations of this design, how you can make a larger farm. I'm just gonna add some nice corner areas here, nice stair areas. Um yeah and then the last part is going to be um I've forgotten. <laughs> I forgot what I forgot what I said it was gonna be. Um let me think. I don't know. Did I even say it was gonna be part three? I'm not sure. My mind is not what it used to be. And I'm only 16. There we are. It's actually a bit of a different type of one there. No. Very naughty little lighting bug. There we are. So I fixed it. Nope. So yeah, that looks alright. I'm just going to place this here as well. Make a little doorway. There we are. So now you plant this, and then there's one more thing we need to do is hook up the redstone. I haven't used this spruce log yet at all, so um, I probably would end up if I was taking my time. But Some of this has melted. Why has that happened? lights out there. I think that's what's caused the ice to melt. Technical hitches for the win. I think that was the only one, wasn't it? Oh, there's two back here because of those ones on the wall. Just because I put them directly above rather than to the side. We want to make sure I'm just going to take them away after all the work we've done, done to get them there. I'm just going to put torches. So we don't have to worry about that problem. Because torches give off a lower light level than those redstone lamps. There we are, that should stop them from melting again. That one's melted again, but I think that was just before Got rid of the other one, so I'm going to leave that there. Now I'm going to hook up the redstone. I'm just going to make a quick control room here. What's your control room? It's just a tunnel. I'm going to place my button here. Then I want to take the power around the back. Oops. Get rid of these lamps levers because I don't need them anymore. And do this. I'm going to get a repeater somewhere along this line. Just press the button. Here I should do it. So now whenever we press this button, it will harvest. Oh not the torch is off as very helpful. We'll just leave that like that. And then once you've done collecting the level warp from down here, that'll just fly off for the moment and that's just melted again. Brilliant. And that one as well. Okay, torch. 
Come on, you come on, mate. That'll do. Doesn't look symmetrical. Minecraft OCD is slipping in. Just put them up here. That's it right there already, but yeah. Make sure to place your light sources one block back like with the lava, otherwise the ice will melt or drop this down one more level if you really want to. That was Facebook. Terribly sorry about this. There we are, I think I'm done now. And then you just press this button once more and it would stop. And here is where all the stuff would go, except that they all went down here. There's no neville actually, so I'm just gonna plant some neville and quickly harvest it. And you can with this what width room you can do it from well here, not sneaky or anything. You can just walk backwards and forth. Miss that one there. The wider the room the more walking over soul sand you're going to have to do. There we are. And we press the button. And voila. Thank you for watching. Come back in the next video to find out how to do different orientations and stacking of the layers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the little goodbye.